And that's why in the Arabic language we separate between shukr and hamd. We thank people, we are grateful to people, we offer gratitude to people for their services. But no one is offered thanks upon a platform of sincere love and exaltation. Because no one will benefit you the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has benefited you. And even those people who help you and benefit you, they have benefited you because of the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to benefit you. So in reality, the thanks and gratitude that you show to the creation and the thanks and gratitude that you show to the creator has to be fundamentally different by design. Because we, by design as well, we feel more grateful the more people are in service to us and of us. It's not, not, that's normal. I think that's human nature. We can appreciate that. That somebody might help me so much so I'm grateful but he helps me more I'm even more grateful so the reality is whenever we look at all the assistance we have in our lives and anyone who does anything for us above all them is the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so he will always be most deserving and the level of gratitude then would be a show of hamd and that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-hamid al-hamid refers to the owner of all praise and the one who is absolutely praiseworthy perpetually. He is absolutely praiseworthy without any exception. And perpetually, meaning there's never a time when this quality of being the owner of praise can be removed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is why in Surah Al-Fatiha, we say, Alhamdu Lillahi Rabbil Alameen. And according to some of the scholars of Tafsir, they have highlighted this lamb to be a lamb of tamlik that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the owner of all praise. Say alhamd, all praises belongs to the owner of praise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we benefit from this in that we understand that Allah is al-hamid, whether we praise him or don't praise him or remember to praise him or forget to praise him, it doesn't change his reality. And some scholars have said this lamb denotes a different meaning the meaning of ikhtisas and specialization or association, which would then mean that Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most deserving of praise. Right? And both meanings apply to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by looking at both of these uh, realities. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the owner of praise and he is Al-Hamid. And Hamd is a concept that happens when you show sincere love and exaltation. People normally ask, what is Alhamdulillah? Well, Alhamdulillah is a show of praise because of sincere gratitude, which is based upon sincere love and exaltation for the one who's being praised. And that's why I'm highlighting this because now we can see the correlation between this concept of sincere love and, and exaltation in our discussion about khushu, right? That we do find people submissive and serene in other matters. But when we talk about it from a salah perspective, we're talking about the subtlety of your heart and your flow and your presence. Why? Because of your knowledge of who you're standing in front of. The Lord of the worlds, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who's done for you what no one can do for you. So it is a servitude and quietude and submissiveness and serenity that is based upon a function and platform of sincere exaltation and love. So this is what khushu means, brothers and sisters, uh, in Islam. And this concept of